Hello, this is Tremor, and welcome to yet another survival multiplayer, YASMP, at Pwn9.com. Today, we're going to be talking about building a base and avoiding the X-rayers, either the X-ray mods or the X-ray texture packs, or even, you know, the occasional um, chunk glitch error. There's tons of ways that somebody can spot your base, and... Uh, they don't always have to be cheating, they can just kind of happen upon it as well. So what we're going to do is start out by leaving the spawn area. That is, yeah, your best bet is to get away from spawn a little ways. Um, a lot of people like to go out as far as they can go. Um, on a server with a border, um, everybody has the same idea to go all the way out to like 2,000 or some special number. I don't think that's a really good idea. I think it's better if you were to um, find just an, a really odd location. So we're going to travel away from spawn and look to set up our x-ray proof base. So I'm going to cut away right now and uh, we'll pick back up at a suitable location because it can take, you know, five, ten minutes to find a good spot. Usually five, six hundred blocks or more away from the spawn point is where I like to go. So I found this location about uh, 600 blocks away from spawn in both directions. Um, there isn't too much activity in the area. Somebody has a funky looking tower over there. doesn't concern me all that much. Also, I saw a torch in a cave up there, and across this span of water, there is some activity. So, pretty quiet little location that we found for ourselves. We have a, um, a diamond pick smooth stone, which is very important for what we're about to do. And on our server we have a plugin called Fire Lord, where you wear gold armor, which makes you impervious to lava, which is going to do a few things for us. The first thing is it's going to allow us to um, pillar down uh, safely without worrying about hitting a pocket of lava and dying. So we're going to drop into this little hole, dig a few down, we're going to ignore any uh, ores or anything of that nature. Cover our tracks by putting a couple dirt. Dig a few down. Put smooth stone. Dig a few down. Put smooth stone. And you're going to repeat this all the way down to bedrock. So we've uh, pillared down from the surface, covering our tracks with smooth stone as we go. I have reached six above the bottom of the world, so we should be seeing bedrock really soon here. Uh, this is not a flat bottom world. Um, this is a, a standard generated world where the bedrock is takes up the bottom six levels and uh, can be kind of staggered. So I'm going to make sure I have my smooth stone ready. On the way down, I ran into some diamonds which is nice. I've got uh, a lot of cobble from digging. Uh, also got some coal, which will be handy so we can power a furnace in case we need to make some more smooth stone. And I've put a torch up so we can see what we're doing. So I'm going to dig down and there is some bedrock. This is the uh, official YASMP texture pack that I made myself. Uh, if you want to get it, you can get it at pwn9.com made bedrock look kind of like a brick along some nice smooth textures all around so we're going to dig um, looking for a location where maybe uh, maybe there's some lava um, so we're going to we'll just make a little tunnel and we'll cover this tunnel up when we're done be nice to hit a pocket of lava in here somewhere So I'm going to oh, and some coal. So I'm going to tunnel in a nice straight line until I can find myself some some lava. And oh, there we go. That is what we wanted. We wanted some lava. So we're going to come back here to the beginning um, of where we were, and uh, we're going to bust out that torch. Uh, cover this up because I mean we don't want anybody seeing this tunnel.
tunnel. A tunnel will show up to an x-ray mod or x-ray texture pack or even uh, kind of a, a chunk load error tunnels show up really easily as do torches so we're going to stop using the torches for our lighting our lighting is going to be mother nature's lighting uh, the lava will light our secret base for us and we'll block that off too now remember I have the gold armor on so the lava can't hurt me if you don't have that you have to be careful when you're digging around here you don't want to get uh, beat up by lava and what we're going to do is I'm going to farm up all this coal uh, we're seeing coal down here around uh, bedrock before that's pretty cool so I uh, filled in the uh, coal that I mined out of there with the uh, smooth stone and we're back in our tunnel looking at this lava flow we are at um, 8 above uh, ground level here so I'm gonna approach this lava flow and we'll use some uh, dirt to push it back and for the sake of showing you I'm gonna use some glass uh, glass would probably be really visible against an x-ray pack but for our case here it'll help us uh, kinda see so there's that lava and we're gonna hope that that lava goes up so I'm gonna dig a uh, to the side here I'll go in another one little uh, staircase hoping that uh, you know no lava falls on top of me even though I do have the, uh, the gold armor and there we go we can match our lava and the lava is at 10 I'm going to go down here and we're going to build a ceiling hopefully oh what's this and we found another lava flow at five very handy so we've gotten really lucky here to get this lake down low of lava and this other one above our heads so we're going to take advantage of that to make a really good little uh, hidden base um, so for over here we have a little lava ceiling which will get down below even more you can basically because you know the lava is up there and dig around in here in this area and knowing that pretty much anything you put down in here is going to uh, be invisible to the x-rayers on the surface by virtue of the fact that you are underneath a lake of lava. Let's get some lighting in here. Dump a little lava. So now we have some little caverns down here inside the, uh, the bedrock. This one here is pretty nice. I, I think I'll put um, actually we'll do right there. Look at that. A furnace. Yeah, kind of covered in lava. It's going to be hard to see. Uh, just make sure you don't get yourself stuck in here. Get ourselves a way out. So now you have some areas to uh, hide some goods. You could put a uh,
crafting table down in there under the bedrock, be hidden. And if you want, you can always cover that stuff right up anyway. You're covered from above and your stuff is down in the, in the bedrock there. So now we're going to check out this uh, adjacent room. Little lava lake. I've got my gold armor on so it's handy to uh, use for cheating here in a way. I'm going to go into the lava and look around and see that we got a too deep spot here and also see that that is stone. So what I can do is right here in this spot, if you didn't know you could do this, you'll be uh, surprised to learn that you can place chests under lava. They don't burn. So now we can you know, right click on this place here and Look at that. We have a chest underneath the lava. We can throw our items in. Uh, very hard to find chest. So there you have it. A way to hide some chests in lava. Also to build a little base underneath a, uh, a lava lake. You find one around you know, anywhere between 8 to 10 above the bedrock, then you can build under it and be pretty well disguised. Ultimately, uh, another thing to do is never use something like a torch. That would be a dead giveaway. And make everything look as natural as possible. Even a long hallway like this one could potentially be seen as uh, um, from a from a skilled x-rayer from above they will see that and say there could be a base down there and that's pretty much the way to do it um, if you're a VIP here at uh, YASMP you can uh, use the slash set home command and set this as your home and then you can hit slash home come here whenever you want that way you don't need an entrance or an exit to learn more, you can uh, go on the website, phone9.com, and learn about becoming a VIP. That'll do it for our anti-X-ray base deep underground near the bedrock. Key points are, remember, not to use any torches, um, other objects that uh, are easily viewable. Make sure they're covered by either lava or bedrock and, and smooth stone. Uh, don't leave an entrance if you can't help it and build under the lava if you can. If you can find a lake of lava underground that you can actually get underneath, that would be the best possible way to avoid the x-rayers in Minecraft. And then here is looking forward to the day when the programmers of this game get off their lazy butts and fix uh, some of the major hacks and cheats that are in this game. And then it will make it a great multiplayer game perhaps one of the best. That's it. Visit us at pwn9.com. That's pwn9.com. I'm Tremor, and uh, hope you uh, enjoyed suffering through my bad video quality.